So we've highlighted that it doesn't seem to matter for physical fitness. We've highlighted that unless you're actually a hunter-gatherer, you don't need to be engaging in hunter-gatherer type activities. But that shouldn't mean that carte blanche, you just pick whatever exercise you want. What you need to do is consider other factors as well. And injury risk is a very important factor to consider because certain types of exercise have higher injury risks than others. And I'm sure Bill will be providing a great presentation uh, on whatever day it is he's presenting regarding some of the uh, risks associated with certain resistance training practices. Now, what I want to highlight is that there are certain exercise modes and types of activities that inherently have higher risks than others. So for example, endurance running. Now it doesn't matter whether you forefoot strike or rear foot strike or whether you're barefoot or whatever. There seems to be a high risk of injury from engaging in endurance running. Okay, yeah, we'll improve your physical fitness. If you enjoy it, great, do it. But when you're making these types of decisions, you need to weigh up the risk to reward ratio. CrossFit. Pretend I didn't say that again. But recent studies that have looked at CrossFit have shown that the injury rates in them are extremely high. And what's even worse is not only are the risks high, but the actual severity of the potential injuries are very high as well. Because when we're looking at injury risk in exercise, we should be considering not only the prevalence of the injuries, but also the types of injuries that are, that are sustained as well. In the studies that have looked at CrossFit, 7% required surgical intervention. I don't know about you, but exercise is supposed to make you fit and healthy, not put you in the hospital. When you look at resistance training injuries as well, because resistance training you know, doesn't get a free ride just because endurance running produces a lot of injuries. Typically, endurance re uh, resistance training type injuries tend to stem from free weights and typically from people dropping free weights on them. So yeah, okay, so using a machine or using a be uh, barbell doesn't seem to provide any differences in terms of strength or hypertrophy, but if you drop one on you, it's probably gonna hurt you a lot more. So you need to consider what the risks and rewards associated with those types of things are. Engaging in certain types of resistance training activity as well is important to consider. Olympic weightlifters in the 2012 and 2008 Olympic Games, they had a one in six chance of getting an injury whilst performing Olympic type lifts. And you've got to consider, these guys are the best in the world at this. And they still get injured one in six times.